All right, the area of a sector of a circle with a central angle of eight pi over five radians is 40 square centimeters. Uh, we are asked to find the radius of the circle. All right, so in this case, important to note that we're given a central angle, we're talking about a sector of a circle, and we're given the area. All right, the area is given to us, so we wanna be pulling out that area formula for sectors of circles. All right, so we have area equals one half times theta times r squared. And theta in this formula is in radians, which is kind of nice, right? It was already given to us in radians. Um, you'll notice from here, the central angle is eight pi over five. So we can go, kind of collect the information we know, right? Theta, our central angle is eight pi over five. The other piece of information we know is the area, and this one's worded a little bit weird, but the area is gonna be 40 square centimeters. So A is gonna be 40 square centimeters. Um, let's fill that information into our formula and see what we're left with and how to solve for it. So in this case, we can say our area is gonna be 40 equals one half times eight pi over five, goes in for our radians for our theta times R squared. So our goal is to solve for R squared. Um, let's go, uh, go about this by first combining together those fractions on the right-hand side. We know how to multiply fractions by multiplying numerators and multiplying denominators. So multiply one times eight pi is eight pi. Two times five is 10. And then I'll kind of leave the R squared over there on the right-hand side. I think what we can do is we can make this into a power equation where it's just R squared on one side all by itself by getting rid of that fraction. Instead of doing this in one step, I'm gonna do it in two separate steps and I think it'll be a little bit easier to catch on. Um, I don't like fractions, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by 10 to counteract that dividing by 10. So multiplying by 10, dividing by 10, we'll basically get to cancel out. And then we have what, 10 times 40 is 400. And then we have eight pi times r squared. Now remember, our goal is kind of get that r squared on one side by itself, make this into a power equation. So we want to get rid of the 8 pi. It's connected with multiplication right now. So let's use division to move that to the other side. So let's divide both sides by 8 pi. As we have an 8 over an 8, that makes a 1. Pi over pi makes a 1 there. So that's going to isolate r squared on one side all by itself. I'm going to go ahead and say that's r squared over on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, I think we can reduce this down, thinking 400 and 8, those both have an 8 in common. So this will reduce down to 50 over pi. Last thing we need to do is we need to get rid of that square. To get rid of an exponent, we can apply a radical to both sides. In this case, to get rid of a square, we'll use a square root. Therefore, we're getting r all by itself on the right-hand side, which really is the goal in this case. Um, and we have an exact answer over on the left side. Now you may be saying to yourself, eh, why didn't he put a plus and minus? Don't we usually put a plus and minus when we uh, apply a square root to both sides? And I would agree with that. However, our radius has to be positive because this is a real life situation. Um, so we are gonna have to just keep the positive case. It's the distance from the center of our circle. Um, you could get an approximation, but we really like exact answers in this sort of situation. Um, so I'd just leave it as an exact answer instead of getting an approximation. All right. Hope this helps in figuring out these uh, a radius whenever you're given some other information with these this area formula. All right. Good luck to you on these. See you.